ดีค่ะ Montura Osagana is a Burmese comedian well known for his political jokes. He has been arrested four times, spending a total of eight years in prison. In October, he has been released under a mass amnesty for political prisoners. And in December this past month, he visited Bangkok as his first ever visit outside of Burma. And he answered loads of questions from journalists as well as Burmese students studying in Bangkok at the FCCT, a foreign correspondent club of Thailand. First of all, thank you for coming all audience and all reporters and all the people. So I, I, I got a shock. So I never have an experience like that. So actually daily when I since when I reached to the Bangkok sixteen of the this month, daily I got a shock. When I saw the air, airplane, I got a shock. When I saw the the, the airport, I got a shock. When I saw the big building and big bridge and the good road, I got a shock. Yes, I never seen that scenes, so I got a shock. But yesterday, when I saw the young man and the young woman on the road, when I saw their faces. Great shock I got, just huge shock, because their face have the many secure face. They have the feeling about security. They have the feeling about freedom. They have the feeling about self-confidence. I saw on the, their faces. But in our country, our young people lost confidence, lost freedom and lost self-confidence. Our young people in my country, daily they worry, their anxiety, their face was the full of anxieties. So the quite difference I, I, I saw in Bangkok and I saw in Jungle. We are a very close country, we are the very neighboring countries, but quite different. So we have to change attitude. I think that idea. So we have to promote our young people's life and we have to promote our young people's attitude. It's a very important. So I got that idea when I reached to the Bangkok. Sagana discussed about the changes going on in Burma right now. I released on uh, October 12, just only the two months. So. I have to met with many people from the inside and also outside. I have already met with Hillary Clinton and also Derek Mitchell and also Andrew Mitchell from the UK. And the last three days ago, I have already met with Mr. Robert Cooper from the EU. Anytime, I got a chance to ask them many questions to them. Actually, I don't, I, I don't want to discuss about the sanction for our country. But I want to ask the favor for our garment factory workers. Just only that I got soon. They all want to uh, they, they all want to reply to me. Uh, if they see the some uh, improvement or the progressive in our country, they will gradually lift up the sanction. Just so I already told them, this is start of change. I mean, this is start of change. This is the dawn era of our country. This is start of change. You should support us. So now improvement is start. I, 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 I can say, now I am here. This is improvement. <laughs> Many times I didn't get a passport. I, have to, I, I haven't go to an, any, any country. This is my first trip. Now this is the sample. Now I'm here. This is improvement. Can I say this? You can. <laughs> and we welcome you. <laughs> One interesting question from the floor was whether he ever considered running for parliament. 
I don't want to go to Nibiru. <laughs> so I don't want to enter the by-election. So I don't want to be the MP. I just want to support our young people to go to Nibiru. So I, I will not enter the by-election. When asked what his favorite joke is, the comedian showed his funny side, which more or less is ingrained in his personality. Um, can you tell two questions? What's your favorite joke? And question number two is, who do you think would be most fit to be Burma's president or to, to be an MP if you feel that you shouldn't run? I, I, I'm the kinmaker. Um, my favorite jokes, you ask me, that. all of the, my jokes are my favorite jokes. <laughs> because I didn't get the money, so I don't want to say any jokes. <laughs>